Remember back in the day when you were younger and the world was a more normal place to be in, 70s, 80s, uh, early to mid 90s perhaps, and you were playing football and the little lad, the little prick who owned the football would always take the ball home and sulk because nobody would pass the ball to him because he was shit or his team were losing. That's what the lefties are like today. It happened during Trump's inauguration. A lot of progressive woke superstars, singers, would refuse to uh, have their music associated with him, play at his inauguration, or be associated with the MAGA movement, and it was all absolutely childish. Well, it's still going on today. Take Neil Young, for instance. In fact, I don't think there's a, a Neil Young song that I like. And I'm not saying that because I'm a lefty, but his songs really are mundane. So anyway, the reason I'm talking about Neil Young is that he's, um, he's had a bit of a spat with Joe Rogan, or to be more accurate, Spotify. Now, for those of you who don't know and uh, don't live on this planet, then Spotify is a, it's a mainly music streaming app, but they do podcasts, and you will find Joe Rogan's podcasts on Spotify. They've had the courage and the spine to stand up to the woke wankoids and just do what they want with their own company and... And so on. And for that, I applaud them. And Neil Young is one of these sickening childish lefties because he posted on Twitter and he deleted it, an open letter to his management team and record label demanding that they remove his music from Spotify. And this is what he said. I'm doing this because Spotify is spreading fake information about vaccines. <laughs> Potentially causing death to those who believe the disinformation being spread by them. Please act on this immediately today and keep me informed of the time schedule. I want you to let Spotify know immediately today that I want all my music off their platform. They can have Joe Rogan or Neil Young, not both. You can imagine him stamping his feet as he wrote that. Anyway, he's since deleted it. I'm not sure how he still feels about it, but I, I can imagine him being a proper spoiled brat in, in real life. Is he married? Imagine being married to that. Now, I like listening to Joe Rogan. I don't agree with everything, but it's good, really, to listen and be open to the views of other people. You see, Joe Rogan doesn't spread misinformation. The thing with Joe Rogan is, on his show, he has a wide range of views and opinions, and he allows that. Unlike Twitter, Facebook, social media platforms, YouTube, etc., people like Neil Young, lefties like him, who are into... Um, you know, the lockdown enthusiasts, jab Nazis, they don't like different opinions and views and they'll stamp their feet and get people cancelled if needs be. So if I was the CEO of Spotify, I'd keep Joe Rogan on, I'd keep his podcast, I'd promote it even, and I would kick off idiots like Neil Young. And I'd post him an open letter on social media and I'd say, listen, Neil Young, I've kicked you off because you're a narrow-minded, nasty piece of work. You're off Spotify, take your music with you and uh, don't let the door hit you on the arse on the way out. And I can't imagine Neil Young being married for, for long. Does he have many wives? He'd need them because <laughs> I bet they'd be fed up having to change his fucking nappy every day. Anyway, that's my video. Please let me know what you think of the comments. And if you like what I do, because YouTube and Google have demonetized my channel, uh, you can support me by buying me a beer. The link is down below. And that's that. Until my next video, please comment, share, subscribe, and roger trout.